It is quite a story, honest to God, nothing made up, it's the truth. I had about two weeks before that recording session was coming up, and I had told and promised David uh, Freeman with Rebel Records that I would uh, have some new tents, you know. And uh, I was sitting in uh, where that green chair that you were sitting in, there was a different chair there then, but I was sitting in that corner of the room and had the foot rest up and just leaned back kind of in the La La Land. And that tune just came to me. And in 15 minutes, I mean, I had it. And uh, so when Joyce came home from work, she walked to the door of the living room and uh, I said, let me play you a tune. And I played it for her and I had already thought, now that's not a hard breakdown tune. I may name that for my mother, you know. And of course her name was Rebecca. And uh, I played it for Joyce and she said, I really like that. Why don't you name it Rebecca for your mother? Well, to make a long story short, I put it on tape and sent it to Tom McKinney, a banjo player down in uh, Asheville, North Carolina. And he was playing with me at that time. And he really liked the tune. And I didn't send any names. He called me back and he said, man, I love that uh, tune in B. He said, I really like that. He said, what are you going to call it? I said, well, I hadn't firmly named it yet. He said, and he'd met my mother, you know, he'd been down home with me. He said, why don't you name that Rebecca for your mom? There was three people that the same, I, I said, well, three out of three, that must be the name of it, you know. <laughs> Isn't that okay. ironic that that happened like yeah, that? Yeah, it was. I mean, and that's the truth. Nobody knew anything about it. One didn't know that the other had no, suggested that. No, so no, that, sir. That just kind of solidified that deal. Well, that is, that's just the way it happened.